Amador County Farm Day, bringing agriculture to the classroom. Hi, my name is Isabella Reagan. I'm 14 years old and I've been showing rabbits with Willow Springs 4-H for six years. This is my pig and rabbit barn right behind me. It's where I keep all my show rabbits. Care for rabbits on a show level is much, much different than it is for just pets. Obviously, you have to make sure that you have a good feed with proper nutrition, making sure that they can stay all healthy. But another important thing is grooming. So when I groom, I usually take a water bottle and I'll spray it on my hand and I'll just rub it together and I will brush the rabbit's fur back just to catch all the little loose ends. There's also a slicker brush. I don't use the slicker brush for my rabbit because he has a special type of fur. Another important thing is keeping their nails trimmed, whether they're a show rabbit or not. You don't want it to get caught in the cages and broken. That can hurt. You never want to hurt the rabbit. A special thing, back to the fur of my rabbit, is it is a mini satin. So mini satins have a very, very special coat, which has an extra layer of guard hairs, which are like thin and they are very, very airy, which gives it a special shine. It's called sheen. It's only in the three satin breeds, which are mini satins, satins, and satin angoras. You just look at these cute little ears. This rabbit's always been a sweetheart. He's my showmanship rabbit. So when you go to a show, there's two different classifications of rabbits. There's four class and six class. And depending on the breed which they're shown in, which there's 49 different breeds, um, and their average weight of the standard in the breed, they're going to be shown in each of those classes. So a four class means that there is a senior buck, senior doe, junior buck, and junior doe. Now bucks are boy rabbits and does are girl rabbits. So a senior for a four class is just going to be any rabbit over six months and a junior is going to be any rabbit under six months. Now with a six class, like a meat rabbit such as a Californian, which I also have in my barn, um, they are going to be shown in senior, intermediate, and junior. So the difference is instead of the seniors starting at six months, it's going to start at eight months and intermediates are six to eight months old. And then juniors are just anything under that. So the five different body types for rabbits are commercial, semi-arch, full arch, compact, and cylindrical. Now this rabbit is a mini satin and it is a compact breed. So an average senior weight range for a mini satin is going to be anywhere about four and a half pounds. So they are going to be a four class breed. Um, Californians, which I also have in my barn, their average weight is nine pounds, which means they're going to be a six class breed. So when it comes to feeding rabbits, you're going to want to feed a commercial feed because it has all of the complete nutrients that a rabbit needs. Um, when it comes to treats, you can give them little vegetables and things at times, but you don't want to overload them on that. And I mean, there's a lot of sugary treats that you don't want to overfeed, especially because it can cause some health problems with the rabbits just like you if you eat sugar all the time I mean it's not going to turn out well if you're not eating your vegetables um, but every once in a while it's a good treat I like to give it to them if they're like really stressed out or for going to a show I'll throw a little piece of dried pineapple in their food or something like that just to make them happier and just make sure that they're having a good time depending on the size of the rabbit they're going to need different size cages so the size of the cage really depends on the weight of the rabbit, so it's about a square foot per pound of body weight. So this rabbit right here is about four and a half pounds, so he's going to need about four to five square feet of cage base. So for my larger rabbits, the Californians that are also in the barn, they're about 10 pounds, so they're going to need a five by two cage, about 10 square feet of space. Another part of basic care of rabbits is rabbits get really heat stressed when it's over 80 degrees. So I try to keep my rabbits in the shade, obviously that's why they're in the barn, and you may be able to hear the swamp coolers in the background. We have two of them, we have one by the swine and one in the rabbit area. Those, especially in the hotter days, we like to run the swamp coolers and we like to keep the water going to them just to make sure that they're not stressed and that they're all happy. And especially on days in the summer where it's really, really hot and even with the swamp coolers and all the fans running, it still gets above 80 degrees when it gets about 80, 90 in the barn. We have frozen water bottles that we keep in a freezer in the barn that we put in their cages as well to keep them all nice and cooled off. You just want to make sure that you can do anything you can to make them happy and healthy. So I'm going to turn it over to Kaya and she's going to teach you a little bit more about mini Rex. Hi, my name is Kaya Bell. I am 10 years old. I've been a part of the Fiddletown 4-H for seven years. And I show two breeds, Triantas and mini Rex. Today I will be focusing on Mini Rex. Mini Rex are a compact breed. 
Compact breeds are usually a four class. Mini Rags come in 20 different varieties. Otters come in four different varieties. Today, I brought with me a junior buck, Mini Rex Black Otter. Mini Rex weigh from three and a half pounds to four and a half pounds. Mini Rex have Rex fur. A way to identify Rex fur is it is short and plush and it looks like velvet. Rabbits have five different fur types, normal, wool, satin, standing, and rex. There are only two breeds that have rex fur, rex and mini rex. And there's only one breed that has standing fur, which is the silver fox. Mini rex come in 20 varieties. I have, uh, this is a black otter. Otters come in black, blue, chocolate, and lilac. What makes a, an otter unique is it has a tan on its ears, under its chin, and around its eyes, and they have a triangle on their neck. I brought along two other varieties that I would like to share with you. This is a chinchilla mini rex. Chinchillas are in a, have an agouti color, so they have the black and white bands in their fur. I'm gonna blow in the coat so you can see the colors. Another example of agouti color is opal or castor. Now I'm going to get out my last variety that I brought. This is a blue-eyed white mini rex. There are two types of white mini rex. There's blue-eyed white and there's ruby-eyed white. White mini rexes have a universal coat, so you can breed it to any other variety to improve coat. If you're gonna use a, a white to improve coat, you're gonna wanna use a ruby-eyed white because uh, blue-eyed whites carry a special that you don't want all varieties to have. Hi, I'm JC. I'm 12 years old and I've been in the Fiddletown 4-H for about eight years. So I will be talking about one of my favorite breeds, the Trianta. Um, they've only been in the United States for about 12 years and they originated from Holland. They are the 46th accepted breed in, out of 49. Um, this breed has a compact body type and they are a four class. One of the things I like about this breed is they are a very calm breed and they're a lot easier with breeding since there is only one color or variety that they have. So in show terms, they're considered a standard. Out of the five fur types that there are, they have one of the two types of normal fur, which is rollback. This rabbit is a junior, so he is under six months of age. If you were interested in raising rabbits but not quite into showing them, um, some good breeds to raise are the Trianta, Dutch, Holland Lops, or Mini Lops. Those are all nice, calm breeds that aren't too much to take care of, and they're smaller in size so they wouldn't take up too much space. Me and JC both compete in a competition called royalty. Now royalty is at most big shows. It's a competition composing of breed ID between 25 rabbits and cavies or guinea pigs. So we both have a 200 question test. That competition is basically to try to get more youth into rabbits, like really, really into it and get them the knowledge that they're going to need to know to become judges one day. Um, and I mean, I just think it's really, really fun. This past October, I had the opportunity to compete in royalty at the National Rabbit Shows, which was in Reno, Nevada. 
and I was selected to be on the state juniors team to represent California. And for the state team, we, me and my team competed in a quiz bowl about rabbits and cavies. Uh, another competition we did as a team was the breed identification, which is 25 animals altogether, some rabbits and some cavies or guinea pigs. We plan next year on traveling to Louisville, Kentucky, Milk Convention again, and show our rabbits and compete with royalty. We hope you enjoyed learning about rabbits with us today. Amateur County Farm Day is brought to you by the University of California Division of Agriculture and Natural Resources 4-H program, the Amador County Farm Bureau, the City of Plymouth, the Amador Resource Conservation District, Charles Spinetta Winery and Vineyard, Tumbis Vineyards, CGDRE Vineyard and Winery, Cooper Vineyards, Sierra Pacific Industries, and your local farmers, ranchers, foresters, and agricultural professionals. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.